Hello again, this is Russell Scott from Scott's Carvings, and uh, I thought I'd head out to uh, a nice place in Wisconsin called Crex Meadow. And here it is a Saturday of the Memorial Day weekend, and I'm here with Lynn. Say hello, Lynn. Hello. And <clears throat> we thought we'd just do a little bit of carving of this and that, and thinking that um, what we could do is do a little maybe a carving contest or something and seeing what we can come up with and I decided with this piece of wood this is an uh, inch and a half inch and three quarters by about six inches and I am going to carve just a tree caricature character of a tree I gotta see if I can make sure I'm not too far out of bounds here and make sure that I don't, because the way this thing is, it could drop at any minute here or any. And I'm over here. And I am going to uh, do a character tree. In other words, what it's, it's gonna do, it's a little bit of like the Halloween tree that I've made. I'll, I'll round this out, except uh, maybe just a little bit of stump sticking out here. It's like a dead tree, the stump here-ish. Make sure I draw that in. And we're, we're just carving out a memory. We got no pictures, thoughts, or otherwise, and hopes that it don't that it comes out okay. And mine is going to uh, he's going to have like a stump right here. And if it doesn't work, I will just simply drill and uh, put in a stick or something like that, put some sticks in. But it's going to be like it's a dead tree that, that got cut off right about here-ish kind of a thing. What the plan is, is that he is going to have his eyes here-ish, give or take. The stump is the nose. I want to make sure that the eyes are high enough. And then he's going to have this O face, like I have my uh, uh, was it my surprise bottle rocket. He's surprised because he's got a little piece of wood. <coughs> I was just thinking on it on the way, just before I got it, as an owl on his head in front of him. Therefore, I'm going to have to lower this, make this a little smaller, and probably raise his eye a little bit. And I was even thinking at the last minute, I thought, well, you know what? Make the tree hollow and then have like a raccoon. I'll have a raccoon head, but then kind of tilt it down like the raccoon is looking at the owl. So, let's see what kind of a disaster this this will turn out to be, this is what I want to keep. I want to keep this and the eyes. I think what I'll do is I'll get the eye socket and, and then I'm going to play with the owl a little bit and then probably make a, maybe a, uh, oops, it goes which way, yeah, this way. No, it goes, yeah, it goes up another stub. And then I want to make sure I got maybe enough to get some roots in there. And that's what I'm doing. So, Lynn, you got something planned, or are you just going to whack away and see what happens, or what? I am planning to carve a, a woodsman Santa, since we're sitting out in the woods in Wisconsin. <coughs> I'm just kind of trying to develop an idea for Santa out in the woods. Let's see, what do you got so far? So here, far right here, yeah, the I screen is right here. Just put it right here. So far, I just have a few... Hudson. Pencil marks on the plain block of wood. I don't, I'm just kind of designing as I go. Uh, yep. So, this we're here having just a little bit of fun carving outside, aka, who knows if this will become like a disaster because, or whatever, we're not, you know, we're not, uh, nothing was totally planned. It's kind of more like on the way or something like that. And then think about it a little bit. And so this will be, worst case, this could be a, um, for me, I mean, Lynn does a lot of good, uh, she starts from scratch a lot. 
This is a lot of good stuff. But this could be a um, concept piece, as it were. The wood is relatively soft, but it has that um, weird direction kind of a thing. And I mean, it comes out pretty nice, but it's kind of chip chewy a little bit here. So, oh, oops, I hit the wrong one. And uh, we're just cutting away and I want to say somewhat enjoying the, the nippy in it here in uh, Minnesota, Wisconsin. Uh, unofficial start of summer, as yes, it were. The temperature this morning was 42. The high today is only going to be 67, they're predicting. Yeah. Well, 67 is not too bad but there's a lot of here crux as a matter of fact we're kind of in a i want to say a, a park it's a wildlife preserve i mean yeah it's a wildlife preserve but we're in an area that was they what do you call it uh, take the lawn more out you can see the, the it's kind of like cut uh and the rest area the rest area you got picnic tables in the in the lot and uh um that's where we're at and we would thought that, oh my goodness, there would be people here and kids screaming and we are the only ones here, I guess, because it's a little too cold, I know. So I'm just kind of rounding this off, making sure that I keep some of these, these stumps. Like I said, the worst case, or you could just turn a square peg into a round peg and just put put sticks in it, drill a hole, put sticks in it, and make it a lot easier. And so what do you what do you think you you recommend with your Santa there? I'm just rounding it off right now also. And trying yes. to think of a design as I go. So you kind of pencil in the kind of the, the majors. Yeah. And and of course, one thing about wood, it is not written in stone. Anyways, there's a lake to our left here. Pretty large lake, shallow swans and all that kind of stuff in there. But it is windy. And so we're kind of in this, it's like a gully kind of a thing. And, uh, and so... Um, it's not as windy as it's kind of breezy. I mean, we got our still got our kind of a early winter, late fall, early, early, early spring coats on. I mean, the winter coats are pretty well put away. The parkas and stuff are pretty well put away, but maybe we should occasionally we will see or hear, hear people, hear automobiles because in this gully here is the restroom here so you'll so we're not completely out of completely in nature we can interrupt it Shh. if we pretend we're not here they won't people coming and again rounding just getting a feel of it See, I mean, I, to me on this, I'm thinking of a, of a dead tree, you know. And there's a, there's the stump kind of up. I might have to end up taking that off and putting a, a, a larger branch or something in there. But I just want to give the give this block a chance. So at least you have a second. So this block of wood could have a second opinion, you know. So, like I said, we're in uh, Crex Meadow. Uh, it is, in Wisconsin, it is more of a swampy... Marsh. 
marshy yeah well marsh swamp well yeah swamp knee is just one small marsh there's a lot of uh um you know there's a lot of late and the lakes here are like I mean, you could practically walk across some of these lakes no matter how big it's just well it's muddy at the bottom so you wouldn't make it occasionally they would drain all the lakes to get the and do one one year they've done that one year for the whole year to drain some of these lakes for the sake of getting uh wildlife or wildlife getting some some greenery growing plants and stuff so put this back down but now we're kind of kind of scrunched together and don't have much rub so oops don't bury the tip of the knife unless you want it to. And so it's this piece is going to have bark on it. What the plan is, I'm getting things kind of pretty well rounded off. And or a pencil. And what's going to happen is we'll have. See if I can balance that, don't breathe. I'll cut cut in a little bit more. And then uh, and then what I'm gonna do is have like this will be bark. And I'll do put some bark stripes in when I'm done, and then dig in a little bit and maybe have some, you know, the bark, some bark coming off here. And then this is the wood part, and the wood is kind of cracked. I mean there's more to it than uh, what I'm doing here, I think. To turn turn a little bit this way so you can see a little bit more. That's the plan. How's yours going? Good. I think they want to hear more from you. They don't want to listen to me caterwaul all the time. We are still doing our, oops, there goes my pencil, <laughs> 10 Santas a month-ish, hopefully more. But it's still allergy season, and so you'll probably hear me coughing a bit once in a while, because it gets in the back of the throat, is where it really hits the most. <clears throat> so I'm just really just roughing this out. I mean, I'll later on I'll put more of the details because uh, the bark is going to be much uneven, you know, because bark on a lot of trees. Matter of fact, we got a tree that's down, right? Can I turn that, twist that around? We even got right in front of us. See, this is kind of at an angle. See, you got a tree that's already down right there. And see how the bark kind of separates from the wood? as it rots off. Matter of fact, before we leave, I'll take some pieces of that wood so, so we can make the connection. So let's even get this back down to where we were before. Before I screwed up. So, so of course there's gonna be the separate, and then, and then this wood, the wood part of course is gonna be rotten and gonna have it's going to have their chips too. So there's going to be some chips off of the bark. There's going to be chips off of the of the top. But I'm just getting a feel. Because see, the thing is, this is going to be a difficult piece because I want to be able to get the eyeballs in with the nose while having the owl. I probably will have to put like a little, maybe a shriek owl or something, a tiny, smaller owl. So it would work. And I was thinking that maybe this would be a good time to to stop what I'm doing on here so that I'm just just starting specific things and then uh, rounding things and since I am going to put something on this would be a good time to put to try the owl out
Oh, we've got a fly. Get a, oh, we got him. Did I? I think it's just a big regular fly. So far, all the mosquitoes are not. I mean, there's some mosquitoes, but they're not really bad or anything like that. So, you can probably just see the top of my head when I look for my pencil. There it is. Got it. See if I will edit that out or not, but that's probably probably not edited out because I'm sure that's what everybody drops their tools. Now I am going to do sort of a I'm gonna go this way first. So a little circle here. This is kind of an owl that I this is oh my goodness, is like six or seven generations away from an owl that I've learned from Sean Sippa. And and then I just I can't even think about it right now. And that is too big because I need more tail. More of its tail. And I am not doing very well with this. I am just going to have to, like I said, go, <laughs> we're going from memory here instead of any kind of prep. This is just a, just a little simple um, carving out in the wilderness here. And we're sharing it with you kind of a thing and I think that's still too big let's make it smaller much smaller and I'm hearing the birds and the I hear the sandhill cranes yeah we got sandhill cranes all over in the distance so he would be <clears throat> much smaller he would have to be much smaller if I use this wood and so we'll put them on the edge or something. So I think we're still okay. And I think I might leave that at home and do this at home because I like for this to be perfect or, you know, good. Because then he's got wings. You got to figure out the wings and the tail. See, the top is good. I like the top, but the belly is not. Yeah, that's a little better. So if I drew him in like this, yeah, then I can have the eyes just about where they are. And this is uh, much like some of my other videos that I like to see the difference. I don't know if it's a difference between me and other others. That are I like to teach. Um, you know, coming up with your own design. I like to, to, you know, experiment and stuff instead of just having, you know, carving a piece six or seven times and, uh, and show you what, I, what I've what i learned. And here sometimes I like to dive in and just show you how I, how I come up with things. It's just lock of wood, idea, pencil, knife, there it is. And a lot of it doesn't come out right, and then I use that as the concept piece, and then come back again. I'm gonna round the round these things out just a little bit more before I start getting into the face. I have heard a very make that sound, but I think a lot of birds may make that sound too. I'm almost sure. I would I would bet on it. It's a very, but And I think it's 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 coming to a point where I think we might have to use sticks, but I'm gonna keep playing with it. 
Keep burying that tip. So how are you doing over there, Lynn? Oh, I'm just trying to think of what I want to carve next here. Designing as I go. Okay, you carve, you carve on, you're not carve the next. That's what happens to me is I, I'm on one thing and I'm carving, oh, what's the next one I can carve on? Oh, so no, I'm, I'm just carving this one. I do that a lot, but anyways, what do, you got, what do you got so far? I'm designing as I go. So yeah, what, Sandy's going to be having a walking here, stick. Here, bring it over here. See, we go so far, twirl them around. Yeah, he's going to have a walking stick. He's, I don't know what he's going to have in his other hand. Is that the other half of this piece? Yeah, it's the other yeah. half of this piece. Yeah, I cut that in half. Yep. How's yours, your half cutting? Great. It's a great piece of wood. Yeah, it's mostly great. There's a little bit of that, what do they call that, chippy, like, um, uh, like you're, you're, it's, on, it's going in the wrong direction, the green is. And we're carving in basswood. Yeah, I need to straighten this out. Uh, it feels good to me. Mine is in the. I'm going in the the assumption that everything is. I want to say semi round. There's no motion in this. There's no real movement. You know, instead of taking and, and making the tree kind of zigzag or blowing in the wind, it's just a very straight. The top broke off, it's gone, kind of a thing. And that's what I like to do. I like to pick on something and then go away and pick on another part to see if this is still worth carving. I, I'm Right now the face seems a little odd to me. I mean, even though it's a, a character face of him, you know, it's like something dropped on his nose kind of a face. And I'll go, and that's what I'm doing. I'm just, just, just trying to come up with the concept here of something. Now, Lynn has been doing that more than I have. I'm more, uh, I've got my Daz. I've got um, uh, some of my figures. What do you call those? Bendable figures for artists. Um, sometimes in some Santas, I would have uh, some figurines and then I would like I'd say, I like the way the hand goes the right arm goes on this one and I like the way I pick up another one I like the way he's holding on to a wreath Christmas wreath on that one and then you know I like the way that the head goes on yet a third one and just I always like looking at art another artist's conception of what's what I'm doing and sometimes another artist's conception of Santa Claus's and whatever f folk characters. What? Just stop and listen to the wood sounds? I'm thinking. Oh, you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> you stopped. It's like, what? What? I'm thinking about what, what I'm going to do next. It's like a, it's like a pointer. You're when you're hunting and running and running and then and it stops. What? What are you looking at? <laughs> so you were you were thinking at the time. Yeah, there's a lot of wildlife going on. I don't know if you can hear it from here. And um there's a lot of uh wildlife that I've got. Like for example, the uh yellow headed blackbird is uh, it's a really that bird stands out i mean it's a black bird with a yellow head i mean what more can i say on that and it makes this weird herbling sound we got plenty of them here we got uh, and uh, we've got other like a warbler i got a um, yellow warbler uh, out near the water and uh bobbing around and Sometimes, and then I got my, almost got a piece of a Wilson's Warbler. And then of 
course, you got your typical song sparrows here. So, okay, I am just not, okay, I'm going to round this. I am just not happy the way this is going because I think I'm going to have to cut this off and make it, I'll go through the motion. Yeah, and this is a, <clears throat> I mean, a, a lot of the carvers, especially the ones that teach you, they'll tell you how to how to plan it out and stuff like that. And that's, that's I do a lot of that. It just, but once in a while, I just have to pick up a stick. And that's what we're doing right now, just sort of a, a challenge of, between me and Lynn as to what to come up with just out of the, just out of our head. This is a, I don't know, is this what they call whittling? This isn't whittling, is it? Yep. Okay, then maybe this is whittling. I think carving is more by design, I guess. I don't know, but I need a little more for the hole to come in. And I wanted to go and need some undercut because it has to go, the branch has to go up. I like to do that once in a while. Yeah, just pick up a stick and I got this idea and don't do any research, overthink, or other ways and just start carving and then see what you can kind of come up with. How many times have you screwed up and you fixed it and it looked better than what you wanted? You know, or the slip of the knife and then you fixed it. And, And of course, this is still a rough one. I mean, there's still a lot of you know the bark detailing, and then and then you're going to cut this, and there's gonna be the wood, and maybe you have the circle. Because uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this because I think I am ready to start doing some details on this already. There's nothing to this piece. Is that there's? Oops, went too far there, but that's fine. This is imperfect. Because this has got to be narrower than the, the branch, the barked area. So I need to be careful. Put that there. Be careful. Put this here. Pick this up. Now, in this case, I like to to turn or bend or whatever you want to call the the V tool. So the flat end is this way and a flat end is this way so it's not being straight in that's what I'm trying to do but then the degree of angle will not allow me to do that perfectly this is not a 90 degree I think this is like about a 60 degree Like I was saying, that uh, we are still carving. We, we carve Santas year round, and I, I don't want to say we're we're Santa carvers. Well, we are, but we do other things too. Once in a while, and, you know, even Halloween is is pretty interesting to get some Halloween ideas out there. I got a couple of them already for this year, but. And I even have, at this point, in the, the idea of carving some characters in motion. You know, where there actually is a lot of motion going on instead of just standing at attention. But that's, that's in the hopper right now. Okay, I want to give this a, a good, because I want to make this uneven. Let's pretend it's uneven. But I do want that center out. I want a little bit of that center out. And again, I'll do more you know, detailing, cleaning up. Right now, I'm just getting a nice rough. 
that's out and then I before I put I would like to start the uh, the bark but before I do that I gotta put the eyes in the mouth in so back to the pencil I did kind of goof up I think I can probably move the move this down a little bit more because I neglected to leave some say, point three dimensionality of that so if I do that here, and I can have this here. Now the question is, what kind of eyes do I want? Do I want? I mean, it's going to be kind of open eyes like this. Center line. Forgot the center line. Sorry. And um, now to carefully put my knife down. What do I want for eyes? There's all, all kinds of eyes that are going on. And people have and I might do um, so the eye can kind of go like this I think I'll try that which I think I got off kilter here where the eyeball is gonna be here so that one looks got off kilter here While I'm penciling this in, now one of the things that I, we were here in the winter time, and uh, and it, it gets pretty snowy, and all of the, the lakes are iced up, and uh, saw some uh, nice uh, snow buntings, and how they come out into the into the lake that just had, that's all froze over and they had some just fresh snow. So he can be a little bit. Now what's gonna happen is that, um, <clears throat> of course his eye, his pupil is gonna be right here and it's gonna be crossed. And I might have some kind of a, maybe a bark or something that there's something that he's either angry or he's like shocked one or both. But we'll start with that. And with the O here is if it's kind of like a mouth, then what's going to happen is a little bit of this. It's kind of like a spaceship kind of a thing. Oops, there's the center line. Stay with your center line. Instead of it just being a, just a regular hole or O. Okay, careful. Put that down. And I'm going to take. Now, the, the thing about this carving with the eyes is there's no. Or I probably, I'll probably come back if, I, if this doesn't look right. Is that there's no socket. It's not in like a human face it's not in it could if I change my mind but that's that's why I like doing this it, it is very um, I just kind of want to show you how I do this it's it's kind of uh, when you get kind of frustrating I suppose I'm like what the hell are you doing and why well, screwed up and I just showing how I do Taking a piece of wood and come out with an idea. This is completely out of my head. You know, Lynn is what she's doing out of her head. There's no, we don't have any patterns next to us. We, we didn't do any prep. Just grab a piece of wood and then come up with something. And I'm sure some of, some of the character carvers of America is watching this and oh my God, what the heck are you doing? Why would you don't do it? That isn't done that way. Is that? No. Probably not. But I'm just uh, coming up with some. Now the thing about the eye is we're going to up it this way just a little bit. Up the 
can see a little bit. And then down a lot. Like I said, I've done something similar to this. It's in my um, Halloween patterns. The 2020 Halloween patterns in ebook. On scottcarvings.com if you're interested. We've got all the and witches. They might even come to part that we will have to sock at these things somehow. I probably will. But I want to at least um, commit to the eyeball. And when you do faces, I mean, the eyeball is the last thing. I mean, you do a lot of, I mean, there's this this bridge. Um, I mean, this, you might, I might do a, maybe a little bit, maybe put a little bit in. Like there's, like it's, the, see this, the nose would actually come up if it was a regular nose. But he's just, there's just eyeballs. There's no nose. It's just simply a branch, and he's just on the branch that just so happens to be the nose. And the reason why this is so high is because I want to put, as I said, I'm going to put an owl on there. Same with here. And I want to have this, before I, before I go on, I want this even deeper. Almost like, yeah, the ball is rotated down as far as it will go. Come on. All right, there was an ant on my carving knife. Does that mean I'm not carving fast enough? <laughs> Uh-oh. He just wants to see what you're doing. Yeah, I think so. He wants to see if it's worth bringing it back into the into their hole there. <laughs> and you see like it being a cons this being a concept piece if I did it again, I mean maybe I'll make the eyeballs bigger. Uh maybe make it uh like maybe instead have the have a branch coming out here then i can bring this these closer together and if the branch comes out together and there's a the owl but would that look goofier i don't know There's a bird out there that sounds like a robin. It's a blue jay. No, not that one. Is it? Or that's cardinal? That was starting like a no, it's a blue jay. Oh. But was, could be a scarlet tanager. Okay, I want to get close to the mouth going. Yeah, just the, the lips part of the mouth going right here. circle of the mouth to be deep. Yeah, we, 
people carving a lot out in the wilderness. And, and uh, a lot of times we would have the cutouts and ideas by then. That needs more cleaning. Sound would be a red headed blackbird or something. There we go. So just want this up, but I want the hole to go deeper. There we go. Right there. I'm going to get uh, number 11. Um, I guess five mil. See that big one I have there? That's 10 mil across. And let's see if we can. Is that that new Drake chisel? Oh no, Drake is this. Uh, it's a, it's a like a like a number two, almost flat. Oh. And it's uh, very narrow, like almost like I don't want to say it's close to uh, a flex cut ish narrowness, and that really cuts nice. Ooh, that was a that's about. 20 mil across and a number two that's very very thin so it's very sharp you know well because most all tools are when you buy a brand new there i mean if you expensive tool set it's you know not the six dollar uh dollar store tools okay so the mount is looking a lot better than, than I wanted there and what so what I want to do is take my knife and I want to uh, bring that oops bring the loops loose you know what why don't I start with my number two Turning a square peg into a round peg is, well, flat chisel would do it too. I just want to get it started here. That's what I should do. See, look at that. There we go. Get some lips. But while I'm out, while I got this out, I wonder what I should do about cleaning up around here. No, 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 I think I'm going to keep it up there. No, no. And see, that, like I said, this is what I want to teach is just uh, out of the head, out of the no, uh, no pattern. Once in a while, I like to do this. Like I said, yeah, I guess it is riddle. Is whittling, there's no, I mean, there, we're, I'm thinking about it now. I'm thinking about what I want to carve now. Oops. And I want to be careful because I think he's starting to look like one of those little tiki, tiki characters from, from some far out. Polynesian. Kind of, island. Polynesian island kind of a thing. So I want to be careful with that. Or African, or yeah, I think he's, he's starting to turn out that way. But let's see what we can do. That's one thing about carving is if you don't like it, then you fix it the way you want it. I mean, I, I'm, I'm there's a little bit of frustration as to how and why this is turning out, but. Somewhat, but mostly I think I'm getting okay with it. And I think um, I'm getting okay as we go along because then I can I can think of and see other alternatives.
But I, but I mean, there's nothing against planning for goodness sake, you know. And I've taken some uh, night, some night classes with uh, character carvers like Dave Stetton and Ryan Olson and Kevin Appleby and others. And uh, I just once in a while, I just want to take a block and do my own. One from scratch, one head. <coughs> oh, is that you? I thought that was a bee. Now I want to bring, because since it's kind of deep, if I were to do something like this, then that would bring that, I'm going to say the word nose, which is the branch that's supposed to be the nose. And maybe create just a little bit of eyebrow plumness here. That's why I want to do stuff like this before I start putting the bark in. But then on the other end of the bark, you and that. But I, I'm I'm happy with the face or with the the mouth. The eyes I'm a little bit leery about. I'm not. Because I know, well, I know that this eye here needs to be a little bigger. To satisfy the other eye. So I can always make the eye bigger. If the eye just... Because see the... The problem with this is the reason why I'm not putting it in, you know, bringing the mouth up and the eye down is because I got that owl sitting there and I just don't want the owl in front of the eye. Maybe uh, next time I should create a, a, an animal or a character or something that is in front of the eye where you can bring the eye down and then of course you got the, the pupil here and the pupil here. Moving right along, who the heck's idea was this? Wow. Okay, so I'm leaving that there for now, and I, like I said, I might I might do something with the eye. I'll make it a little bigger. Let's do that again. If I want to make, I gotta make it wider, otherwise it'll be look too Polynesian. Well, it could still be a Polynesian tree and have a Polynesian night bird. I think I like it that gets a little wider, like a little wider and longer. And I like it that it doesn't go up as far on the side. And I will have a, a sharper knife. That's looking better, I think. Uh, I would like a, a sharper knife, uh, my detailing knife, my cleaning up knife. I will clean that up and maybe come up with something a little better. We just will do a little bit of this. So Lynn, yes. What animals do you remember seeing here that jog your memory? The bear. Oh, we saw that one we were driving through town that one time. Yeah, this is next to Grantsburg, and uh, yeah, we seen a uh, bear that just went. Black bear. It was like medium size, like it was just maybe it was it was still a baby bear and going out. You just know, walking down the street. Hurry up and turn around and get the camera, and he was gone. Plenty of deer here. We see a lot of deer. And, uh, 
bald eagles. Bald eagles. And swans. This year we've got tons oh, of swans. Tons of swans. Tons of tons of tons. I don't know, have we ever seen any pelicans here? I can't remember. Uh, I don't know if we had. I think we did flying over once, but that's about it. Sandhill cranes. Sandhill cranes are all about. Lots and lots of ducks and geese. Ducks and geese and chicks that are scurry. Okay, let's see what you got so far. Yeah, it always reminds me whenever I was in a, a class, you know, and, and the instructor comes around and they get this around and I gotta hurry up and hurry up and then and so he sees that and he's gonna tell me that that's wrong because I know that's wrong. If I know it's wrong, why don't I fix it quick before he tells me? He's gotta do a hurry up and take care of all the what I want and So I'm going to practice in the back here while she's doing that. I want to show what she's got so far. I'll practice in the back as far as what I want. First of all, I want to round this. I can first I round all the way around. And I can do that. Careful I don't take out the mouth that I just... And now we got some roots. We can have it come up like this, like it's, and so to make sure that it doesn't get too square dimensional, I'm going to make these, these two different, and then this one is kind of makes me make this one a little back farther, or maybe a little higher, so it's not identical. So it's still two different types of of uh, roots that are coming up. Same here, a little bit of, and like they cut too far of one is what I'm hoping. I'm take it on the side that I cut too far of. All right. What do you got? I have a woodsman, Santa. He's going to have a walking stick, a and long walking hand. stick in one hand. In the other hand, he's holding a baby bird that he found oh. in the woods. And he's going to go... he's going to put it back on a tree or... Protect, yep. Yep. And he's wearing a short jacket. Yep. Probably make it red and black plaid jacket. Oh, yeah. Sort of a Minnesota-style yep. jacket. He's just wearing a, a plain hat. With oh yeah, the, uh, just uh, what the Canadians call a toque. Yeah, or we toque. just call it a stocking cap. <laughs> yeah, if you've yeah. ever been uh, watching, uh, what's that show? The uh, uh, Second City Television, and they got Bob and Doug, and they always talk about toques. And their Twelve Days of Christmas have toques. Is it five golden toques? Anyways, yeah. so there she is. We'll see what happens next time around. And yes. what? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna take a little break here. We're out taking a little break next to the restroom here. So I thought I'd kind of take a look at our surroundings and I thought I'd take a look at this tree here as a example of a tree that is kaput. And then I always like looking at these kinds of trees here that has holes in them and see if there's any animals in it, but I don't 
see any. I think the tree is too far close to the ground for that to be a nice home. But I was thinking of taking some pieces of that tree and see if that would, except it is a little here. Like I said, it's a open area. And uh, there's the restroom. And that's the reason why we picked it is because it is so down in the, as I turn it around, you can see how far down there's the, there's the car, how, see we're kind of in the gully here. And if we, I think if we were to zoom in on those, um, that poplar, maybe poplar is not a good example because they really shake. And look how, see how windy it is up there. So we're glad we're down here. Well, that's a bee that's on me. That is kind of, kind of a funky angle here. It's a, this is just a, like a, almost like a park. I mean, there's nothing really woodsy about this, but it is, it, there is uh, plenty of wood. Plenty of wood to walk through. But anyways, just kind of show the area. And, uh, I mean, this is what I'm working on is a dead old tree. I guess he's hollering right there. Ouch! Ow! We're back, and um, getting back to this, I did manage to grab a piece in that wood, and it is not very good. I mean, it is. I mean, you, I, you'd have to pull a piece, a live piece, and cut it, and then unless you want to, or pick up a piece like this and then try to carve it so it looks like this kind of a thing. But I'll just keep it on hand to look at. And uh, as I've mentioned, the bark, well, let's see what we can do with the bark. I think I did. Did I do the, uh, did I go enough with the hit system here? Hold on. I don't think I did finish the root system. Am I still in, in the camera shot? Bigger number 11 will help out here. I mean, that'll help out. I'll have to clean it a little more. <laughs> oh, I was waiting for one of those. There we go. took a break and went around and filmed the little odds and ends and a, a little dragonfly that was sitting there and then I uh, filmed the spider I couldn't focus in as much as I want or get at least got a piece of it uh, and then get, uh, get um, peewee there. First time I saw the peewee this year, and got to hopefully got a piece of that of him there. Yeah, kind of he was kind of a little titchy and 
I better keep this a little higher here. I forgot about that. Making this different. Get some tree swallows that are kind of arguing with each other. That's it. But anyways, getting back to it. Just kind of around taking out some of the, oops, the direction. But I'm sure with the bark, the bark is uh, um, imperfect, so. But I want to move forward a, p a bit here. Oh, there's a chippy area here, gotta be careful. And and I wanna create the owl a little bit while I was bathroom breaking there i thought that a different a way to approach different way to approach that let's see if he stays put i better put him there put the knife down there <clears throat> and come at a different angle where the bird will come like this so in other words there's the hips this is not working very well there's the head in the body and the so something like that this comes up this way and he's going to be a snowy owl i think that's a little better and i think it might be a little bigger but i'll probably clean him up a little more as he goes so let's take a break from the tree now, normally I'd put this to the saw. But we're out here in the middle of nowhere. And I just want to get it this, this part started. But I don't want to break it yet. I want to form the other and shape it a little bit before I have it in a smaller piece. And I gotta kind of bear down on some of this, some of this wood here, especially the end grain here. I'm cutting here to get some more slices. Oh, I gotta make my uh, sharpener. A little bit of stropping. See how does that look? Is that a little better? It's a little better. Starting to get a little bit of wind down here. Okay, so I am sorry about the, the the chatter here of the of the wood. And I got another knife, but I'd use that more in more detail in there. I'm gonna just begin the 
grinding process before I get to the end here. I just want to, while it's still easier to hold on to, that's the thing. Here's what I want to do here. It's still looking okay. Like an owl on, a, on the head. Do a little bit of separation of the head and the body here. Oops. Same with the side. between the head and the body. Again, you can use your chisel. And I'm just giving it a quick with the knife. Now what I want to do is, while I got it here, and so party girl. In the meantime, I have carved in <laughs> the Santa face and you got that started. I have uh, cut in the jacket and of course the face our our original teacher back in 1999 told us there's really seven faces in each piece of wood. So if you make a mistake, carve off the first face and Carve in a second one, and so forth. Okay, there you go. Now, <clears throat> okay, there's. She's moving right along. Here, can I, I want to try something on yours. Okay. Yours uh, is this number. Like I said, number 11. Number 11, about a five, and then, and just it's round not it not a horse fly, is it? <laughs> no, it's a regular fly. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then doing stuff like this, is just taking that, just make sure I don't take too much of that cheek off it there. That's widening the eyes. That eye nice and wide and something on my cheek there we go just wanted to when he had that I just said I was compelled to pick up my number five and get that going in there there you go a little better I guess not she's smiling so I guess she's laughing so I guess not There goes which which tool went down on my, on my big number eleven. I'll just keep going on until they are when I need it. <clears throat> but I want to at least get this started so again. I got a nice handle here. <laughs> just to get her started there. And depends on how much detail I want to put in, but I want to, I might want to start thinking about the, not only getting, oops, getting a good, good grip on it, I can't get a good grip on it anymore now. But I want to, we're going to narrow the body at the that is a yellow throat I think I think if I'm not mistaken 
Oh, guess what? Yeah, it's all. No, yellow throat goes witchy witchy. This is more of a. I think this is a. No, I think this is a. I think that's a yellow warbler. Chirping away there. What are you carving now? The owl, just a quick owl. Oh, okay. Because I got a. What are you thinking on another carving? Yeah. Let's see which one I got. Is that? Oh, can I keep that one? Yeah. That one I got an idea for him. Unless okay. there's a second, because I thought I carved. Yeah, I got three of those little pieces. Okay. Yeah, I got an idea for him. I'll finish. In fact, I'll finish this here. Imagine what it would be like up there. Holy smoke. I did do a video of uh, what is that? camera. Our camera here is the strap is in the wind here. Okay, get in there. I think that is a yellow warbler. I wish I could see it. Should be able to see it in the yellow. There we go. I want to do, I got to do, <clears throat> the thing I have to remember is I want to make that belly come out because he's on that stump. Be careful about it. We haven't a hold of that thing without <clears throat> well I have the knife in the hand. And I'm just I just want to look up in the tree to find that bird but he is he's up there somewhere just happy as a clam he knows uh, summer is a coming he's official he's happy as a bird <laughs> he's happy as a bird yeah <laughs> is that something he's <clears throat> happy as a bird sounds like it okay I am not going to go with too much detailing on this or too too much cleaning up with this owl. I just want to get the concept. You know, of course I want to, again, I want to take, I want to make sure that the wings are farther out than the, than the, than the body. And of course there's still quite a bit more rounding off of the head. And what he's going to do is around this little, just a little bit more and that's oh shoot I took a little bit off that I shouldn't have but okay I'm gonna flatten him a little more but we'll go on this side and fix it so what I'm going what the idea is is that he's gonna have the he's looking at us there's the there's the beak and there's the eye, and we'll get uh, a number 10 or something in there. So there's the concept. We could still probably have him in the way like that. <clears throat> I, can, I can probably bring him, the body down a little bit. Put another stick in there, fix the stick a little bit, make make that a smaller branch. But there's well, the owl's gonna be Yeah, he's nose. he's just was minding his own business and the owl came and just landed in his nose. And he landed in his nose. Okay. Okay, there's there's the concept. 
like it's time to put the power away. Um, I think later on I'll show how to do um, you know, just do some some bark. You want to do some separation. Let's let's play with the back just a little bit here before I leave this alone. I think I need my number eleven back. Is what I want to do. Now you could take and well, if we're at home, again take the drill to this and drill it out like it's a hollow tree. Yeah, this is not doing too good. This is not too bad. Oh, it works as you kind of like a corkscrew kind of a thing, kind of a twist as it goes. Who's going to be the judge of our, of our competition to see who has the, well, the better carving? That's where the <laughs> comment sections come in. <laughs> well, we'll do it till they're done and painted. And, and that too, or at least so far yeah. the, the carving aspect. Oh yeah, they probably would be done by the time the video comes out because uh, I, yeah. I give patents. Now guys, please vote for me because you know all the gals will vote, vote for Lynn, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. No, this should be fair. I know. And fair. it's kind of different. Where's my... There he is. Let's do something like... Arbitrarily put a couple of these in. I'm gonna try this in the back. And then <clears throat> same with this too here. Oh uh, it rots. And then maybe a little thinner here. Maybe a little wider here. Just to getting it started. Now I'd be penciling it in, but then I'm kind of... So in other words, we want this to be uneven. Not too much cut there. And then I want some nice deep. Deep cuts deep, deep. And then kind of bang it up a little bit. Same with here. I want that piece to it up a little bit. See if I can without breaking it. Because now we do want, we don't want it to be even. See, that's like, a, like what I did there. And you can do bigger pieces, smaller pieces. Dig into here a little bit more. Like I said, when it's done, I, it, it's like I like to pull it all away and clean it up and end with a show you a clean version of what I'm trying to do, what it's all about. So this is going to come down here a little bit. There we go, like that, or even a good chunk gone. Now it's the same with the bark. Let me start with putting it in the 20 degrees this way, 20 degrees this way, or 10. 10 is a nice deep, but I'll do a 10 here. And same thing is that we'll break off here. If it breaks off here, that means I got to continue on here. Now, right now, how I got it is is really clean. It's more, it's very clean. But you want to really bang it up a little bit. But at least I'm getting, you know, get your knife and really. There we go. Uneven. Uh oh, get out of there. So there's a good example. I'm going to leave 
this here with these and it is not very clean. That's a little cleaner. It is not very clean. But there's the concept all the way around. And I'm going to stop with this one and move on to the next carving I got in mind. Okay, I gotta hold on. I gotta do a dismiss. There we go. What time is it? Must be 1.15 is my take my vitamin alarm was trying to come off. Are you recording? Yeah, still recording. Oh. We're still recording. We hope we are. Now we gotta go home and check each other for wood ticks. Deer ticks. Yeah. Yeah. They are out and about. According to our weather people, is there it's worse this year because we had a mild winter and a very soggy spring and that comes up to disaster. So I'm going to leave him now. Here's the concept, but like I said, I'll come back to that. Okay, here's where she left. Here's where she left off, and she's going to clean that. Yep, we clean it up and paint him and give him a walking stick. Put that in there.